set a man on fire, and he'll be warm for the rest of his life! Rangers, I'm here at last. Uh, it'll take a while, but I think I'll be able to make an actual surgery out of this place. Just if you need treatment now, well, I think I'm ready for that. What do you need? Fine. Everything is fine. For now. I'll do what I can. Have a seat. Hmm. I brought a few things over from the garage. Not much yet, but... Hi, Rangers. Thanks again for letting me work for you. This is so exciting! I... I am so happy. I'm learning so much. All my life, I, life, I wanted to be a scientist. But all I could do was read the books and dream. Now I can actually do things! It's incredible! He's wonderful. He's almost as smart as Dr. Finster, but without all the... Um, you know, evil. A motorized, autonomous nose cleaner. Uh... yes? Theoretically, I can have the machine take your genetic material and run the process, uh, but um, no guarantee what comes out the other end. I did make a few tweaks to the process, though, so whatever it is, it probably won't be so angry. Probably. Okay, well, how exciting! Uh, but before we start, one tiny caveat. The process requires special genetic material, and I've only got enough for one clone, so if anything happens to our new friend, try to recover its remains so we can reuse them. Now, put your palm on the machine right here. Hey, this one can talk. I was born wrong.
Johnny's place? And when that chick got up and slapped Johnny's face. Hey, I'm Joey Bag of Donuts. And Mr. Brigo sent me down, you know, as thanks for helping him out with his, uh, trouble. Apparently, I'm supposed to be your new armory guy. That's good. You know, I know my way around this stuff. Well, you know, though he is an honest businessman and an upstanding citizen, Mr. Brigo has more than his share of, uh, enemies. Which means that he needs, uh, bodyguards. And those bodyguards need, uh, tools, yeah? So, he had been doing business with me, a simple freelance gunsmith, but he got tired of waiting for me to finish up work for other clients. So he decided to employ me full time. Find, clean, and service guns for him, and only him. Since then, I've been a made man and do whatever Mr. Brigo wants. And right now, he wants me to find, clean, and service guns for you. And only you. Sweet deal, right? Let me show you. I'm feeling much better now, ready to help out any way I can. You bet, ready when you are. Its people are nice enough. They're really underfoot. Are these Hackett's lost souls? They do seem to be in dire straits, don't they? Rangers, manners are what separates man from bedraggled beast. Why the very implication of such a question? Let us both seek wisdom in the book of nauseatingly correct manners. Chapter 16, Pernicious Pleasantries, line 33. It is of the utmost importance that manners come from deep within your being. For if those pleasantries are ever false, your very soul will be consumed by your depraved rudeness to your fellow man. So you see, rangers, Manners are critically important in everything you do. I hope dearly that I have answered your question. Let us never speak of this again. Felicitations. Of course, Rangers. It would be impolite not to share such tremendous deals.
Welcome to your communications hub, Rangers. The Patriarch was good enough to let me use my own gear, and I have my high-frequency radio equipment all set up. From here on out, I will be your voice in the wind. You can contact Ranger HQ at any time through your radio, and I'll reach out as needed. When there's arrest to be made under your authority, just radio them into me. Pleasure to serve. Time. Glad to see you back, Rangers. Cleaned up the worst of the mess in your absence. Now, what can I help you with? Well, I've got friends in the Marshals, the Patriarch's Palace Guard, and some local militias. They've always got more folks wanting to sign up than they have positions for. So I asked my pals to send over everybody on their waiting lists. Now, some of these folks may be uh, less than top grade for sure, but most will be solid recruits, ready and willing to learn. You'll have to pick and choose. Sure thing. Let's have a look. There you go. Anything else? Happy to tell you what you need to know. Well, came here with my folks when I was a kid, and was a young man when Saul was trying to unite the families and make Colorado a state. I got behind him right away. He had leader written all over him, even back then. I've served at his side ever since, fighting against the monster army, consolidating power here in town, helping him expand our borders. What Mr. Gradsky means is that he played a key role in many of the Patriarch's greatest victories, and he had no small part in making Colorado what it is today. You're too kind, Darius. Well, the fighting's never really ended. Trying to hold it all together is a constant struggle. This business with his children is just the latest in a long line of troubles. I do indeed. Some folks can't get past his brusque ways, but that's just the impatience of a man who knows what's right, dealing with fools who don't. He cares too deeply about the well-being of the people of Colorado to let political courtesy slow him down. Of course, you'll hear a lot of folk condemning him for hurting this group or that group with his decisions, but the way I see it, they should be glad it wasn't them who had to make the choice. Stories? <laughs> ah, they are stories indeed these days. I've told them so many times all the truth's been wrung out of them. Now, let's see. Ah, here's one. So, one day we were hunting monster army raiders and came upon a tin-walled shack. The people inside were shooting at us and not answering our calls to parlay. Well, I got sick of that real quick and unslung my rocket launcher. But Saul, he holds up a finger, then creeps around behind the compound. Well, pretty soon we hear him smashing through those tin walls with his hammer, and then comes two high-pitched screams. A few moments later, he comes striding out, carrying a child under each arm. They've been shooting at us because they thought we were coming to eat their dying parents. Now, I will never know how Saul knew it was kids in there rather than raiders, but somehow he did. And we brought them and their folks back to the city and helped them out until they got well again. 
And he's always been like that. An uncanny ability to always do the right thing. Happy to. What's on your mind? I'll be here. Place they got here. Classy. Yeah. I think somebody pissed on the floor right here. What kind of disgusting animal do a thing like that? All those refugees, they must be hungry. I will feed them all. Then everyone will calm down. No, not at all. There are so many wonderful people here who truly appreciate my cooking actually chew before swallowing. There are a lot of people saying good things about the Rangers, but especially about November. Whatever you're doing, keep doing it. Only the best ingredients for my Rangers. <laughs> it's hard to bring Colorado together with a stomach full of bitter rap. borrow your mirror again? Sure, whatever you need. We're pitching in where we can. I hope we've been some help at least. Anything you need? Careful out there. It's an uncaring world. Are you sure you told <clears throat> Lucy that I was here? She hasn't come to see me. I passed on your message, like I said. So where is she? So, after... What do you think? Scrubbed up nice, huh? What can I do for you? Isaac and his friends have been no trouble. I know they acted remarkably stupid, even by the metric of hot-headed teenagers. But now, they see the error of their ways. Them being here. Instead of bleeding out among the rocks at the garden, or frozen on those nightmarish pillories, is what true justice looks like, Rangers. Someday we'll be able to let them out, and they will spend the rest of their lives working to better Colorado. Good luck out there. What have I done? You're a worm, Isaac. I should have killed you. Oh, hey, hi again. What's, uh, what can I do for you? Yeah, man, you know it. I mean, we talked about it and all, so, uh, yeah. If you find a way to open this door, that'd be, huh, that'd be amazing. Later, dudes, and, uh, don't forget to think about getting this door open if you get a chance.
Chilblains or Tremens, eh, who can tell? I'm Austin. I'm new. Got a proposition for you, Rangers. You're the CO around here? Huh. Okay. Quality setup this time. Better than back in AZ. Guess Daddy Buchanan's buying you all the good gear. Gary Wolf, freelance security consultant and synth hunter. Got a proposition for you. I helped the Rangers during their whole Cochise debacle. They might have come out strong if they'd listened to me. Too bad. After the Rangers nuked Cochise, and themselves, I figured somebody competent had to chase down its mechanical brood. So I recruited folks who'd lost family to synths, and I formed a posse. Decommissioned a dozen of the plastic punks in AZ, then heard a feud headed east and followed them here. Now I'm getting flack from that tin star twat Daisy for exchanging fire with the synth we tracked to Colorado Springs. That's where you come in. Interfering bitch told the marshals to shoot us on sight if we stepped inside the city limits again, so we can't go after this October 11 synth. Was hoping you might be interested in taking care of it for us. Cash bounty for its head. Are you kidding me? Cochise is the ranger's greatest enemy a supercomputer that almost exterminated them twice, and which built an army of synths to kill every last human on Earth. Rangers aren't training their recruits at all these days, are they? Jesus, you're not one of those, are you? Fucking simps are always talking about how synths are sentient. They have feelings, bullshit. That's how they trick you. Synths are just top grade robots. What makes them dangerous is that every one of them has a little piece of Cochise in their electric brain, like a virus. And if you leave them alone for too long, that virus spreads. And pretty soon we have the goddamn robot apocalypse all over again. Not on my watch. We cap them as soon as we see them. Don't give them a chance to talk. Yeah, no idea why. Since they're weird that way. It and another synth called Tourmaline caved some sieves on their way here, just for kicks. So watch yourselves. Eleven is a stone killer. Gotta be neutralized before it kills again. And killing it will help us find its comrades. All synths got a radio in their heads. Let them communicate long distance and triangulate on each other. Once I crack Eleven's head open, I'll hack it for their locations. You want to go after the others too? I'll make it worth your time. <laughs> Add it to your list? Ought to be your top priority. Whatever. We'll wait here until you bring back its head should still be downtown somewhere. You'll know you're near it when you start hearing weird static on your radio. Squad, at ease.
Kid Victory sounds like a bad apple. Sato is my hero. Never eaten this well in my life. the last issue of the Colorado Patriot? Oh, real funny cartoon in there. When Jeffy ripped the robo arm off that scar collector, I <laughs> cracked up. Mom? Mom? Oh, I... Sorry. Never mind. What? Why? What do you want? No, please, I just need you to go away. Please. I don't know. We were heading to Colorado Springs with a lot of other folks when we, we, uh, got separated. I, I hurried here as quick as I could after, but I ain't found her anywhere. I keep hoping. <laughs> there, there was this smiling lady. She said she had some food, and I could take some back to my mom if I came with her. And, Next thing I know, she was gonna sell me. She put me in a cage. One of her men took me out of the cage to, to, I kicked them as hard as I could and ran. They didn't find me in the dark. And then I saw some refugees and tagged along, stayed with them till I got here. Uh, bye.
Would you rather freeze to death or burn? You're a barrel of monkeys, huh? Come on, answer the question. All right, all right. Burn. You're gone faster and free <coughs> cremation so your family stays a few bucks on the funeral. Drowned in chocolate pudding for me. What do you want, Rangers? Don't you have any place else to be? What's on your mind? Damn right I did. Crazy bastard was firing live rounds in the middle of the street. Put some bullet holes in the side of the museum. He tells me he's hunting some kind of fancy robot, and he demands that I stay out of his way. <laughs> Bet you can guess how that went over. Nobody shoots up these streets. Not without my say-so, anyway. All right. What have you got for me? You know where to find the door. between rangers and marshals. Will there be blood? Find out here. Did rangers seal a deal with the Vegas mob? Frigo says no comment. Maybe I'll join the marshals. I do like roughing people up. You get drummed out in a second. Behind him Saul went to war and fought all the monsters of Satan's bazaar. He lined them all up and he cut them all down to flab. The inhaler surrendered his crown. Buchanan spared flab and made him a deal. If your boys work for me, they'll never miss a meal. Flab signed up on the dotted line. Now his monsters keep us safe in the evening time. Is Buchanan a man? Oh boy, what a man. Truest of men, you can say that again. What did you do to me? L let me go! Tourmaline... Tourmaline says we shouldn't talk to humans, but... 
but I don't want to die. I, I guess. What do you want to know? I don't even know much about me. I haven't been alive for long. My name's October 11. I'm from Arizona. At least, that's where we started. It's... it's the first thing I said. That's what Tourmaline told me. I woke up and I said it. October 11. I know it's important because it's always in my head, but I can't remember why. Tourmaline says I was made to trick humans, but I got put in the wrong body. I should be in a little body. Then no one could guess what I was. I could be safe. Another synth, I think. I don't remember. The first thing I remember is waking up with Tourmaline in a house. We were hiding. Tourmaline says we were together for a while before that. But that's as far back as I know. Okay. We fled across the mountains from Arizona. It was just Tourmaline and me, but we picked up signals from... from others like us. We thought maybe we'd find a safe place. My protector. Another synth like me. We got separated and... I'm on my own now. Tourmaline called it preemptively defending ourselves. All humans want to kill synths, so we've got to kill them first. It's a matter of survival. I don't want to be turned off. Some human hunters came for us and we ran. There was a fight and I... I lost Tourmaline. I couldn't go back. They were chasing me. So I hid here. Okay. All I want to do is get out of here and find some place better to hide. Somewhere far away from this city. Will you let me go? If they find me, I'll have to kill them. If humans know where I am, they'll hunt me down and turn me off. I won't! You'll kill him if I do! Anyway, I'm not really sure where he went. So, where would you shoot a bear if it was coming for you? I wouldn't. I'd run. Really? No fancy trick shot or weak spot? Takes more than pistols to stop a grizzly. Oh, shoot out of Las Vegas. 
off-duty marshal slain. Find that synth in Colorado Springs yet? Oh, no muss, no fuss. How about that? All right, then. Here's the cash, as promised. Now, uh, one more thing. I was kind of afraid you'd be as pussy as the AZ Rangers, but it looks like you're serious. So I've got another proposal for you. We need a base of operations for our synth hunt, and it looks like you've got plenty of space. What do you say? Can we set up shop here? Ranger squad I ran with an AZ was a chicken outfit. Failed to utilize me properly. Paid the price for it. But you did okay here, so I'm giving you a chance. Great. We'll find a corner and keep out of the way. And just to make the deal sweeter, how'd you like to pick up a few more bounties? Like I told you, synths communicate with each other long distance. That means when I hack October 11's head, I'll be able to find its friends. Unfortunately, we're still on the trail of a pack of eastbound synths right now, so we can't stop and hunt for these. But it's got to be done, so I'll pay you to do it. Cash for each head. You want the job? You're not exactly filling me with confidence, but all right. Let me crack this egg. You see that light in the center? That's our current location. Actually, October 11's head. Those other lights around the middle one? Those are the other synths. Hmm. A lot of interference. Maybe near a radio tower. Maybe two. Lots of other smaller EM signals, too probably got a whole bunch of robots around to protect it. There's some wobble in the location signal, which means it's bouncing off the mountains from the foothills. That flickering means there's interference, so it's probably underground. Maybe it's coming from some kind of bunker or mine, or maybe a nuclear silo inside a dormant volcano, <laughs> like some kind of supervillain. Signal's imprecise, bouncing around, maybe in the mountains. Great. The sooner you end them, the sooner you get paid.
Rangers. Some help. Yes! Rangers! I'm so glad you're back. My wife and I need help. Raiders strap bombs to us with some kind of proximity trigger. If we get near each other, our friends died and no one else will come. Most people are afraid of bombs, but not you, right? I think she's over by the big entrance. I'm not sure because we know if we get too close to each other, we'll be turned into wall smears. I miss her a lot. I don't know. Some psychos jumped our group and knocked us out. 
we all woke up with bombs strapped on. Those lunatics were laughing when they told us how the bombs worked and let us go. My friends didn't believe them. There were parts of them everywhere. Wait! There's a special trigger! You have to disarm both bombs at the same time, or they'll explode. Same if we get too close. Please, send people to my wife so you can disarm them at the same time. Thanks, Rangers. We thought we were dead for sure. That Reed kid's crying in this cell. Doesn't realize he got off lucky. Rangers. Sharp. Yes! Rangers! I'm so glad you're back. My wife and I need help. 
Raiders strap bombs to us with some kind of proximity trigger. If we get near each other, they'll blow up. Wait, there's a special trigger. You have to disarm both bombs at the same time or they'll explode. Same if we get too close. Please send people to my wife so you can disarm them at the same time. I think she's over by the big entrance. I'm not sure because we know if we get too close to each other, we'll be turned into wall smears. I miss her a lot. Thanks, Rangers. We thought we were dead for sure. You think that chicken is edible? Or will we be picking wires out of our teeth? We split them up! Open fire!
Reed kid's the one who helped the Dorseys get into the city, right? So he's responsible for all those butchered people I was patching up. Maybe he should have an accident in his cell. What do you need, Rangers? I'll do what I can. Have a seat. I don't mind not having to clean and suture a festering wound. say a friend in need is a friend indeed damned if we don't got a lot of new friends to feed let me show you for helping out the old any luck rangers can't thank you enough for looking out for my family Thank you. 
think we got a live one here. Who are you? You're not my family. You go away now. I'm sorting through dreams for my brother. Unless you have some more candies? Root beer flavored dreams for my brother. He's real nice. Randy. He always said we'd build us a place one day. Me, mommy, daddy, and him. We'll all live up in the blue sky together. He has to come back first, though. Do you want some of these? They're my very last ones. The gummies say it's okay to chew on them. It's respectful. And they taste so sweet. Okie dokie. came from the flatlands. Mummy and Daddy left. Then the doggies came for the candy and Mummy and Daddy and the bad men are gone, but there's lots of candy. This poor girl. Oh man, I... No, Mommy said never trust a stranger. Daddy said, never take candy from a stranger, but that isn't fair. I want candy. If you bring me some candies, then I will be your friend. There were some candies in the other house, but they're scary doggies. I know. You go get the candies, and I'll stay here. Rangers, any luck? I, I, I see. How bad is it? No, I, I don't want to know. Talk to her, Rangers. I'm sure she'll come back to me. But I can't bear to go inside that house. Not with what happened there. Hurry, please!
It's you again! Bad men came from the Flatlands. Mummy and Daddy... This poor girl. Oh, man. I... What's the word? Where's Nita? I, uh, I suppose it's for the best. So my family is all gone? I... I'm gonna need a change of scenery. A break from this horrible wasteland. I'll see you in your HQ, Rangers. Hopefully it'll be a safer space. I just need to breathe. Just need to dry my eyes, Rangers. See you at this. Rangers, go on back to Arizona and let real police get shit done. Watching you, Ranger. Do you believe in love at first sight? Of course you do. Ugh, I saw it in your soul the first time our eyes met. You were with your squad, being heroes in Colorado Springs. I was? Well, you know where I was. And you can come see me any time. Until then, stay safe out there, sweetie. Can't wait to see you again.
How are you feeling, car? Unable to process. Please repeat query. Never mind. Everybody. 